Hey guys, it's Amanda, what's up? I am back with another Come Thrift With Me for you guys. It's been a while since I've been to my go-to Value Village, so I'm really excited and I have a really good feeling about everything that's waiting for me in the store. I'm already fitted up and honestly ready to go. I just wanted to say hey before I got into the thrift store. Every time I go thrifting, the things that I'm looking for always changes. So I thought I would enlighten you guys with what I'm gonna be keeping my eye out for today. I specifically need pants. I definitely have had a moment of realization I don't have pants. Like yes, I love maxi skirts, but now I'm starting to realize I'm wearing maxi skirts every day because it's actually all I have. So pants are definitely on the list. Also, I feel like Value Village now has all their summer stuff out. So the swimwear section, a bigger tank top section, t-shirt section. I'm also looking for capris. I really want a pair of classic low-rise black capris. I want to show you guys my outfit before I leave and I also want to talk to you about the perfume that I'm wearing today. You guys have definitely heard me talk about Dossier before. They create perfumes that are inspired by luxury scents at a fraction of the price and oh my god i have been so obsessed with this scent called amber cherry this scent is inspired by tom ford's lost cherry it's just the most intense fruity sweet scent without being too much i feel like there's a sourness to this scent that kind of cuts the sweetness because i don't like sickly sweet scents honestly but somehow i am so obsessed with this scent um i've also been loving the lalabo dupe from dossier called woody sandalwood and I kind of was putting all my energy into that until I wore this one one day and now I've been wearing it every single day. But these are such opposite scents. So honestly, my rotation has been powdery coconut, woody sandalwood, and then amber cherry. Dossier's pricing starts at $49 and all their perfumes are cruelty free, paraben free, and colorant free. I've just really been enjoying switching up my scent all the time with Dossier. Thank you so much to Dossier for sponsoring this video. And now I'll show you guys my outfit before I leave. I'm wearing this thrifted Costa Blanca sweater. This has to be one of my most worn pieces in my wardrobe. It's literally incredible, specifically because of the length, just over any low rise skirt, it's perfect. And it just makes the proportion so right, especially with a crop jacket. So I'm wearing my Guest Bomber, which I recently thrifted and I've been wearing so much. It's the perfect coat transitioning into warmer weather. And then this skirt is by the brand Sandwich. I'm gonna wear my Vagabond boots. I've actually been wearing these quite a lot recently. They're so comfortable too. For my purse, I'm gonna do this B. Mikowski. This is definitely big enough to bring home all of my finds. This is the outfit. I will see you guys at the thrift. Okay guys, let's embark on one of my best thrift trips yet, which is insane. I don't think I was mentally prepared for all the things that I found on this trip. I started off in the pants section because honestly, that is what I need most in my wardrobe right now. I actually don't have a pair of classic black pants. I'm really looking for an ultra low rise pair. So I thought I would add these to the car as the first item. Then I came across these army green Jacob pants right off the back. I don't like the brown buttons. The warm tone of the buttons with the silver detailing really throws me off, but I wanted to give them a chance and see how they fit, although I was not crazy about them. I actually don't even know what to say. I found these D squared ultra low rise. Did you see that there's one button? Like these barely cover anything. In all my years of thrifting, I have never come across a designer piece so in line with what I personally would wear. I think they were marked as a size 25. I did not care whether these fit me or not. I knew I was getting them. Are you kidding me? All of the summer sections are out now, so I was so excited to check out the casual shorts. I'm really looking for some mini short shorts. I found these black and white pinstriped shorts. They do have a shimmery thread throughout them, which I'm not crazy about, but they looked like they would fit and I was keen to give them a try. So I added them to the cart. Then I found my dream shorts. I honestly get blessed every single year with finding the perfect shorts that just fit me in the exact way that I want, in the exact wash that I want. The pocket detailing is a little bit much for me. Obviously I had to film these studded American Eagle shorts to share with you guys. And then as I was, I was like, wait a minute, I kind of want these, honestly. <laughs> 
Um, so I did add them to the cart, but I already knew they would fit high-waisted and with a short like this They need to be very low and very baggy. These shorts were just something else. They were knockoff Polo Ralph Lauren. I saw the pockets and I'm like, there's no way that these are polo and then obviously the bleached lines in the front Okay, at first I just thought these were you know plain white shorts. No, these are a full white true religion moment It's so white you can barely see any of the branding also they were high-waisted and definitely too small for me. The skirt section is honestly one of my favorites. I found this skirt, which I honestly knew was Banana Republic just right off the bat, but I love the bow detailing and the pleating. I've tried on enough skirts in this style to know that they usually do fit high-waisted. So I added it to the cart, but I honestly did not even try it on. You guys know stripes just do something to me. Black and white stripes, probably are my least favorite, but in a maxi skirt, I'm willing to compromise. And I also do feel like for going out, that skirt with a pair of flats and just a classic white t-shirt even, a baby tee, perfect. I love the front of this skirt, but one of my biggest pet peeves is when the pleats do not carry through to the back. It's just giving office wear from the back, which I don't like. This was another jaw on the floor piece, this 0 0.0 insanely long maxi skirt. This looks very similar to a suede brown maxi skirt that I already have, but I thought I would add it to the cart anyways. The details on this skirt are subtly different than the one I have. There's a slit, there's pockets, and I knew the fit would be different. I've said it before, I come across this style of Puma shoe all the time. Unfortunately, the one time it's in my size, it's also in this chevron zebra. Like, I do not like this print. I will not wear this print. Okay, one of my favorite sections is the swimwear. I always get blessed. All my bathing suits are thrifted. If you have not seen my thrifted bathing suit collection video, I'll link it in the cards. I couldn't even handle this black and white brand new bongo string bikini bottom. And I'm not somebody who typically goes for a mix and match moment, but this bottom with a black top is just classic. And I love polka dots more than I can express. So I found these purple and white Puma shoes, which I thought were really cool. And they also looked like they would be in my size. So I added them to the cart. I always love checking out the intimate apparel section. I don't think that there's one section I don't like checking out other than the sweaters. I'm currently hunting, hunting for a silk tank top with some lace detailing in a really fun color to wear just through the summer. I just see myself in that. I've yet to find it, but I did find this Lacenza white slip. This is giving bridal a little bit. These were old navy, which is crazy. The tone of pink is the exact same as a juicy hoodie that I have, so I thought I would add them to the cart just to see because I would love to have a matching tracksuit, obviously. I thought these flats were interesting. I'm definitely still hunting for my perfect flat. I've yet to find it. There's a lot going on here, honestly. I'm not so crazy about them, but I added them to the cart. And then I found these Harajuku insanely tall pumps. These were $35, which is insane. It's like a Depop seller was pricing these in the back. I didn't notice this hard detail right away, but it's so cute. Why do more heels not have this? Unfortunately, they were way too small. I'm desperately looking for capris, specifically a black low-rise pair, but I found these and I thought they could be a vibe with kitten heels in the summer. Although, as they were sitting in the cart marinating when it came time to try things on, I was like, these are so high-waisted. They're also so ugly. I'm not trying these on. I checked out the t-shirts and the tank tops and I found this I Heart New York light baby blue t-shirt. It's so soft. I feel like you can just see how soft it is because it's been so worn. This is probably the most worn thing I've ever bought from the thrift store. Spoiler, I would buy this. I've just been obsessed with light blue and red together. Also just pastels for the spring. I'm so into. You really need to see this piece through. It's Tommy Bahama. I love the length of this top. It's super long and drapey. Envision it on the beach over a tiny mini skirt just peeking out. It could be really cute. This piece is exactly what I've been looking for for my wardrobe. I wear tank tops all the time. 
This is a formal tank top. It's super long, it's cream, which I love and wear so often. I knew that there was potential in this piece, even though it was actually falling apart. I checked out the cardigan sweaters and unfortunately found nothing, which is heartbreaking because it's been one of my favorite sections. So then I allowed myself to go to the athletic wear. The only thing I found was this DKNY gray hoodie. The detailing really makes this piece. It's also quarter sleeve, but it does have that horrible orange detail on the sleeve, which I didn't notice until I tried it on. The whole time that I was thrifting, they were putting new items out. So I circled back to the pants and found these incredible vintage guest pants. They were definitely too small for me. And then in the spring jacket section, I found this tan moto style jacket. I do not need this jacket, okay? I have so many jackets like this that are super lightweight and I haven't even been able to wear any of them yet this season because it hasn't been warm enough, but I couldn't help myself. I added it to the cart. It's all the detailing like on the cuffs. Oh my God. I found this incredible pink and white bench jacket. If you didn't see my come thrift with me with my friends Amanda and Lauren, Amanda was hunting for bench and it's this collar that I know she's after that's just so massive. It's giving neck brace, <laughs> it's crazy. I decided at this point it was time to try on all my finds. These are all of my finds on the rack. I am so excited to get into this with you guys. The first thing I started with was the bench jacket and I loved the pink and white, honestly. I have nothing pink and white in my wardrobe, but the collar was just doing way too much. Like I don't know how people actually could wear this in function. It was so uncomfortable. Also the cuffs were so tight. I couldn't even put my thumbs through the thumb hole. So that was an easy no. Next I tried on the tan moto jacket. I was trying this so hard not to like this, but it's so cute. Mostly because of the excess detailing on the cuff, but I genuinely have so many cropped jackets and this is barely a jacket. It's really not gonna keep me warm. So this is a hard no, but I decided not to get it. In the thrift, I was very unsure about this top because over my sweater, I could see how see-through it was. I did decide to get it. And since getting home and trying it on, oh my God, this is the most flattering tank top. It's so chic, it's so elegant. Because of where the ribbon lies on the front, I don't have to wear a bra with it. Next, I tried on the 0 0.0 maxi skirt. Right off the bat, I was obsessed because it's hitting the floor. That is what I look for in a maxi skirt. I don't want it to be hitting my ankles or even worse, above my ankles. Like that is a midi skirt to me. The material almost looks velvety. And also this is the exact color of my Uggs. Next, we tried on the jorts. These shorts are honestly the perfect fit for me. They hit me really low rise, but just because they're too big, you can see that the rise would be hitting high-waisted if they fit me properly. But I love when this happens because then they're super baggy, they're super long. They're almost the length of a capri. I also don't have a dark wash pair of shorts and I love the excess bleaching as well. I immediately just fell in love with this I Heart New York shirt because it's so comfy and cute. And I'm like, okay, if anything, I'll wear this to bed. It's so rare that I buy t-shirts, honestly, from the thrift, I never find them. As I mentioned to you guys, I'm not crazy about pinstripes. I'm not crazy about the sparkle through these shorts. So I did not expect to like them, but the fit of them is so perfect. They're long enough in the back that I don't feel uncomfortable. And then these Jacob pants did fit, but they were too tight. They weren't as low as I wanted them to be. And also I hate the buttons, honestly. While I was filming this clip is when I realized the awful orange detailing on the sleeve. This also was just too big and baggy. It would only be cute if it was super tight. And I don't need hoodies unless they're absolutely perfect. So I did not get this. I don't even think I showed me picking this up, but this is a brand new H&M pinstripe top. I really liked the vibe, but it was too big for me. And I didn't like that it didn't button up all the way to the top. So I didn't get it, but it was really comfortable. And I can imagine myself wearing this through the summer. I wasn't able to try on the D-squared pants in the thrift store, but I did purchase them regardless. I held up this skirt and immediately knew it would be too high-waisted on me. This is a business casual skirt. The vibe of it is to be high-waisted. So unless it's more than five sizes bigger than I would wear, it's not gonna fit me the way I want. This skirt was an easy no just because the back. Tops like this are so hard. I feel like if you have a bigger chest, they just look so motherly. It's not what I'm going for. So did not get it. And then these shorts, as I mentioned before, would fit me high-waisted and they're too distressed. Like, I do like the studs, but I don't want distressing, honestly. I held up these old navy pants and just knew they would not be long enough. With a velour pant like this, they need to be dragging on the ground behind me. Immediately bought this bongo bikini bottom. Love it, it fits me, it's brand new, Mwah. This is when I was like, minute, what? 
are these that I'm not putting on my body. These were in a size way too small and wouldn't fit me, but I want to show you guys them in more detail. These Puma shoes did fit me, but I just don't think that I would wear them. I don't know. I think that they are cute, but it's not a shoe that I'm dying to add into my rotation. I absolutely hate the racer back of this slip. I don't know why Lacenza insists on doing that. It was way too big and just gave nothing. So I did not purchase. I also found this iconic tank top from Ardeen. I did contemplate getting it, honestly. These are all of my yeses. So the pinstripe shorts, the D-squared jeans, the polka dot bikini bottom, obviously this cream tank top, and the I Heart New York baby tee, as well as the jorts, and the point zero maxi skirt. This is such a good haul. The variation of things that I got is amazing. And I'm just so ready for spring and to wear all of these finds. And then on my way to the cash, I found this Dolce & Gabbana sunglass case, which I am in dire need of sunglass cases. So I decided I'd pick that up for $3.99 as well. My value village just constantly blesses me. It's hard to believe. I checked out, I walked home, and now I'm gonna share a haul with you guys. I literally just told myself I was not gonna film a haul, but I feel like I owe you guys a haul. The trip I had was so amazing, and I'm also vlogging today, and I just tried on the D-squared pants, and after doing that, I'm like, I should just do a haul, honestly. So let's do a haul, and let's start with the most obvious thing that needs to be hauled, which are these D-squared jeans. I manifested these. Okay, I've been wanting something from D-squared for so long, it's one of my favorite brands. Look at this tag and the pocket detailing. Unfortunately, they don't fit. They do up, but they're low in a way that like is a little bit unwearable and they're not super long. They're just not ideal. If they were one size bigger, they would fit me. So I will be selling these on my Depop, I guess, like what? I was just so happy to find these. They're incredible manifesting more discord stuff at the thrift because that is really why i'm going you know what i mean i feel like this is honestly my second favorite thing are you kidding me this black and white polka dot bikini bottom by bongo brand new with tags this is my ideal bikini style it's not too cheeky and it ties i am thrilled about this bikini bottom i have thrifted the most incredible bathing suits i don't know what i did to deserve that but Apparently something. This is insane. This 0 0.0 maxi skirt. It's very similar to a suede maxi skirt I already have. So I almost didn't even try it on. But honestly, this is a winter version. It's so thick. It's 100% viscose. So it's a different feel and texture than the suede one that I have. But it's so long. This is probably my longest maxi skirt. And that's because it's a little bit big. But in a way that it fits just super low exactly where I want it. And I know that I will get a lot of wear out of this, honestly, and maxi skirts are my current obsession. Jorts are another thing that I just get consistently blessed with at the thrift. All the jorts that I'm currently wearing are in this same fit that's super low. I'm not obsessed with the pocket detail, honestly. It's fine. I don't hate it, but I'd prefer it if it wasn't there, honestly. I also picked up these pinstripe shorts. I got a price check on these because there is a hole in the back. I think they were $5.99, $6.99. Still kind of crazy. All the shorter shorts I have are on the smaller side and I feel like I don't feel comfortable wearing them out. But these kind of surprised me, they were longer. This is such a funny piece, but I would see this and buy it. Like this I Heart New York blue, baby blue t-shirt. I have a thing right now for baby blue and red together. And this is just such a soft t-shirt that I would wear this to bed. The I Heart New York shirt I got when I was in New York is like paper compared to this. So I just wanted to get it. And I also feel like I would wear this through the summer, honestly, more than you guys think. <laughs> I just think this is gonna be a fun piece to style and it's a baby blue I heard in your shirt. Like obviously I'm getting it. Last thing I picked up is this. I don't know how this is gonna go. Obviously I tried it on over my sweater, but it is very see-through. I love it. I think it's so cute. It's just the fact that it's see-through. So I don't know how that will go. I also got a price check on this. So it was $2.49 because it's really unraveling from the bottom. So I might have to re-sew some of it, but I just thought it was a really cool piece. And also I've been saying I need formal clothes and this is definitely formal. I also picked up that Dolce & Gabbana glasses case, which now I don't know where it went. I was in need of a new shield sunglass case because the one I have right now is peeling and it's ruining the inside of all my bags. Anyways, that is everything that I picked up. That was such a successful thrift trip. They were putting new things out the whole time I was thrifting. So I feel like 
I got really lucky with the D squared pants, the bikini bottom, the jorts, like honestly everything. So I hope you guys enjoy this come thrift with me and this haul and I will see you guys in my next one. you know this shit I keep pimping, keep my pockets thick on you funky shady bitches, having you hoes clock on my bitches.